Okay, hey YouTube, back with another video. Um, if you have not seen my other two videos, I am going to post them in a link about the Queen Bee product. This one is going to be about um, the pros and cons of Monistat. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in the video. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can get weekly or monthly updates. I'm trying to upload more videos. I'm trying to get adjusted that. I'm not used to being in front of the camera. So with further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. This is going to be about monostat. Yes, there are many different monostats, but I'm going to be talking about this one. They're all pretty much the same. Also, I am not sponsored by Monster in any type of way, especially with this video. I don't think they're going to want to sponsor me. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start out with the cons first and then do the pros because I have more cons than pros. Okay, so the first con to having a Monistat, the price. Um... The prices of Monistat varies. They have the Monistat where you could take it for one day. They have the Monistat where you could take it for three days. And then they have the Monistat that you could take for five days. And then the Monistat that you could take for seven days. Um, each Monistat is different. depends on how long you want to take it or how severe your yeast um, infection is. So you get what's really best for you. And then also if you really want it to like stop urgently, like... As soon as possible, you're gonna to want to go for the um, the one a day monostat where you just use it once and you're done with it, which is is really expensive. The prices can go all the way up to twenty four dollars, and nobody wants to spend twenty four dollars on on monostat. Like um, it goes from twenty four to eighteen to twelve to fifteen. Um, also, they have the monostats that's like the store brand monostats. It's still monostat, but it would be cheaper. So I believe this one was like don't mark my words about this so long ago because i didn't even use this whole product um i want to believe it was around probably nine ten ish around that probably 13 i can't remember so kind of one would be the prices they're very pricey um also since i did not do the unboxing of the monostat it just comes with um, the cream, and then it comes with applications. So you put the cream inside here, and then you go ahead and push it up inside you. So that's all that comes in this box right here. All right, so con number two, it might not cure the type of yeast infection you have. There are different types of yeast infections, and the only way you can be for sure on the type that you have is if you really go to a doctor. But Monistat is supposed to cure different types of yeast infections, but it might not cure all of them. It does say that on the box, and also says that in the directions. So that would be another con. If you get this product and you use it and it doesn't cure the type of yeast infection you have, it might be a waste of money. So um, that's, that's one of the downfalls to this product. You, you're taking a chance of not really being cured if you use this. Um, con number two would be leakage. Like I said, um, it comes with it comes with the um, the cream that's inside here, and you take it and you push it in here, and then you put it inside you. You're supposed to do this at nighttime, so when you lay down, which is working its way into you but the downfall to that is with all the warmth in your body and you know it being cream is going to come out as gravity pulls down so when you stand up it, you, it has a chance of running down um, usually first thing in the morning you go to the bathroom it might be on your underwear and uh, nobody wants stains on their underwear or when you sit on the toilet it might just start coming out and it comes out slowly so you might be sitting on the toilet for a few minutes longer than you would like to trying to squeeze the product out because you don't want to wipe and then you get up and it's still some coming out of you so I don't like that I don't like things coming out of me I just I don't it's not comfortable either it's just 
you just feel stuff coming out. Um, the next thing is, like I said, um, it might not cure the type of yeast infection you have. So the next kind will be, it might come back so it is a waste of money. So you're taking a gamble with this product um, if it doesn't cure what you have. The next con would be sex. And I wrote that with a question mark because, like I said, if you, um, depending on how much you're willing to spend on the monostatic, if you get this one, which is seven days, and you're one of those sexual people that just don't like to wait to have sex and stuff like that, then um, this probably isn't a good product for you because you're waiting seven days. And even after seven days, you still might want to wait a couple more days. So if you're one of those people that don't like to wait for sex, um, you might want to try the monostat for one day and then um, hopefully that works for you. So um, those are pretty much the cons to the monostat. Let's go ahead and move over to the pros. One of the things I do like about this product is it does help with itching. So not only does this product um, go inside you, but whenever you have real irritation skin down there burning or itchiness down there you could take a little bit of this cream because it tells you to do that too take a little bit of the cream make sure your hand is clean and rub it on the outside and it works very fast i will say that it works very fast on the outside to help relieve from that itching and burning so that is one pro that you know i would say even though i don't use this product anymore because i found something way better which is queen d i'll link it down below um I do not use this product, but if I were to use it, it would only be for strictly burning and itching around that, you know, my lady part, if that ever were to come back, because I haven't had it in a while. Um, another pro is it might cure. So even though it was on the cons, it's still on the pros, because it might work for the type of yeast infection you have. So if this works for you, great, you know, glad it helps you. But if it doesn't help the next person, then, you know, it's the downfall for them. Um, another pro is this might just be a quick fix with products like this you always run a chance of it coming back so you're never for sure if you're going to be all the way cured so if you're looking for a quick fix you know hurry up and just get the monster hurry up and get rid of it but there's no guarantee that it's not going to show back up next week so those are the pros and uh pros those are the pros and cons to um monistat i personally wouldn't use this product anymore. I hated the fact of using this. And I only went to this product because um, whenever you would go to the doctor, they would prescribe you pills and the pills you have to take for seven days. So I don't do very good with taking pills. I don't like the fact of swallowing pills. I'd rather just put it up there in my lady parts. So, um, I, and I also can't remember to take medicine on time. So I just rather not have went to the doctor. So I was looking for an alternative and I went to this. But as you can tell, I never finished using it either. Um, I found a different product um, that I like a lot better. But I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, just comment below and ask me and I'll be sure to um, answer it to the best of my ability that I can. Um, also, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, give me some more ideas of more videos you would like to know about. And I am glad to help any way possible.